all right you guys so welcome back to my channel i want to go ahead and do a full face of new products because i have been having so many products sent to me some that i've been buying myself so i feel like it was time to go ahead and do a full face all right i really like how this turned out and it's perfect for february um, i actually filmed this on february 1st and i didn't plan this whole pink thing but it happened so i feel like it's meant to be okay so before we do start make sure you go ahead and hit that like subscribe button and let's get into the video and see what products i use to get this entire look all right you guys so let's go ahead and get into the face i have had a lot of pr in the last couple of weeks um and month so i just want to go ahead and finally try them out i'm like super giddy like it feels like christmas again so yeah let's get into it all right so we do have our face and i really want to try the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. Um, they sent a bunch of products to me. This one, I kind of want to use it on my cheek area just to add a little bit of glow and see what that looks like underneath my foundation. So we're going to take a sponge uh, to wring it out with all the water in there. Um, we're going to take this and just dab it into a little bit of that and put it all over the cheek area. I like to glow right here all right and then a little bit on my forehead too as well around this area and this is so pretty that you can honestly even wear it on top of your foundation and things like that so yeah this is really pretty okay we're gonna take this and then dab it all around and i think i forgot to say the name of it this one is in the shade 10 and it's stunning you guys like y'all can see the glow already on the face really pretty so the next product i'm gonna use is a fenty beauty concealer this is your new hydrating concealer in the shade 445 n i have been loving this y'all like this is so good okay we're gonna take this first just a spot conceal i have been doing this for a minute now i used to use orange corrector in areas like this that have dark spots but i noticed when you use a concealer before your actual foundation you don't need as much product so let's just dab some of this onto the skin and cover up these blemishes and it's really to the point where like if i just do this you guys i don't need makeup like that throughout the day i have been loving just like a little bit of product i know it's crazy because i'm a makeup lover but a little bit of product and i'm good to go add some blush some lip product girl all right and y'all just see how that just perfected my skin already we don't even have foundation on yet you guys look at that it's so pretty fenty has come out with so many products y'all but i swear this concealer i love it because it has like that gel like formula to it that i really love and it's just been bomb like y'all the skin please skin it so that's it for the entire tutorial we can go ahead and just stop right here because you really don't need much after this but we're gonna keep going all right so for foundation i'm gonna go back to my nars soft matte complete foundation in the shade marquises medium deep five um i haven't used this in a long time so it feels new to me because it's been a minute the only thing about this is it leaks so bad y'all so be careful if you go ahead and get it we're gonna take a little bit of this on the face and we're gonna take a little bit of this and dab it all over the face just a little bit y'all you don't need too too much um but let me know down below if y'all have been doing like no makeup makeup lately or you've been wearing a full face of makeup with me y'all i've been just applying concealer doing my no makeup makeup and i'm pretty much good to go i only put on makeup like that if i have like an event or somewhere really important that i'm going to but besides that you guys like i don't need too much and i will say applying the foundation on top of the highlighter it kind of went away it's still glowing a little bit but this foundation is super matte in case you guys don't know and then for the forehead we never use too much literally the forehead i'm always like not too much not too much a little bit is all you need because girl i don't know i've been telling y'all when i get nervous or 
start feeling a little bit of anxiety my forehead sweats it's so embarrassing so i can't put too much on here just in case you know what i mean a little bit is all i need and boom look at that this foundation is stunning i always forget about it you know because i have a lot of foundations in my collection but it's honestly one of the best for oily skin so now moving on to bronzer i'm gonna use my nars laguna number no. four bronzer and just take some of this on the perimeter of my face like so just to add a little bit of color to it my puerto rico um tan <laughs> is still going strong it's slowly going away now but it's been nice because i didn't have to apply bronzer like that because the perimeter of my face was so much darker but it's kind of going away so let's add a little bit of this to the face actually i forgot to use something in the beginning i know i was forgetting something this is the merit beauty um neutral volumizing pomade now we're gonna take this for the brows usually i set my brows with the nyx brow glue but this one is supposed to help volumize your brows and it's new because they sent it to me like last month and i haven't used it yet okay it's so funny because all of this is just for the brush that is so funny and then this is the product so i'm just gonna take this and comb it through it is white but it doesn't leave a white cast on your brows okay and it's not gonna have like a it's not like the nyx brow glue at all okay if you're thinking like you can just set your brows with this and you're good that's not it this is supposed to like add a little bit of texture to your brows now i'm gonna grab my fenty concealer again just to highlight the under eyes now this shade i picked y'all is more so for um my no makeup makeup look because i want something kind of close to my skin tone so this is not going to give me that much of a highlight honestly but we're gonna go and use the georgia armani luminous silk concealer on top just to brighten but let's blend this one out and if y'all watch my video and my review on it y'all will see that this concealer y'all like i'm very picky but this one performs really really well it really just covers all your darkness you don't need a lot of product a little bit goes a long way with this but it will snatch you up and literally make you look flawless really fast then i'm taking the armani beauty concealer y'all see how much lighter that is yeah that's what we need all right and take this in the areas that i just applied the concealer just to brighten it up a little bit i really like the armani beauty concealer it's a very natural concealer if you're looking for a concealer to cover up all your dark marks and you know move on and give you full coverage this is not the concealer it's more of like a natural looking concealer which i really appreciate and then also one thing i've been doing with my concealer is i kind of drag it out just a little bit i know with me having a round face i shouldn't be like bringing it out like that but i like the way it looks so i'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side boom i feel like it just snatches the face and then really quickly i'm going to set the under eye with the huda beauty powder in the shade banana bread that way we don't crease So I want to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit closer because we're going to be working on the eyes. And this portion of the video, I am super excited for because if you guys don't know, Florises, the brand has been sending me so much PR and their products, y'all, like, you guys are not ready. You're not ready. All right. So the first one is from their newest collection. This is the Into the Wild palette. Number one, this is how their stuff comes, y'all. It is so cute and just organized. Let me get it together. But this is what it comes like in this palette. So cute. Um, and this is what the outside looks like. The packaging, you guys, is just stunning. Look at that. It is so stunning. And when you go ahead and open this baby up, this is the inside. And you guys will see with their palettes, they engrave, you know, from their culture, they engrave 
um, you know, these symbols, these arts into the palette. It is so stunning. Like, I don't even want to use it. That's how pretty it is, all right? And it doesn't stop there. They sent me a lot of products, so I'll use some for this video. And I have another video idea in mind to use the rest, so just be on the lookout for that. But from the first PR, they sent me this right here. Like, come on, come on. So when you open this up, it does have, um, look at this. Like, I just cannot believe this. I cannot believe this, wow. Okay, so it has all of this, the art is stunning. And then they have another palette in here and a lipstick too. But I wanna show you guys this palette because this one took my breath away. Like, look at the packaging. Just take a second for the packaging. And then when you open this one up, oh, are you kidding me? Hope it's focusing. Are you kidding me? Look at the art, you guys. I cannot get over this. Ah! So we're gonna play with this and just see what we come up with. Um, it's probably gonna be a neutral eye just because these are neutral colors. So let's just play with it and see what we can come up with. So we're first gonna grab this palette and I forgot to tell you guys the name of it. I'll put everything down below. Um, but this is the first palette and we're gonna take this shade. It looks like a light brown shade to me with a little bit of orange in there. So we're gonna take this and put it in the crease first. I'm so excited, I haven't played with this at all. Just gonna go back and forth, just to add a little bit of something in there. And it looks really pigmented so far. Oh wow, okay. Her. Yeah, we're gonna take this and really just go back and forth in the eye. I always like to start off with like a light brown shade and just kind of go from there. And it's super buttery, you guys. Like, you don't have to do too much. It blends well. I like this. Okay, this may be like my new favorite crease shade because it's not too deep. It's the perfect brown okay yeah i'm just doing the other eye like y'all can see that this is so pretty y'all know me normally i'll just stop right here like i don't do too much y'all typically with the eyes but i'm trying to push myself lately so we're still gonna use some more shades but so far this right here would be enough for me for like my everyday look yeah 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 so the next shade i want to go in with it's like a little bit like the other one. It's more like a reddish tint to it. I think this would be really nice. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of place it. Actually, let me switch brushes real quick. I want more of like a placement brush. So we're gonna use the Morphe. What number is this? It doesn't even say it on here. We're gonna take the Morphe one and just go into the shade. And we're gonna bring it a little bit lower than the first one. And it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it. I don't know if it's because this brush had shimmer on it or it could be like the shadow itself because it looked matte at first, but I think it may be a shimmer one um, with a little bit of gold. So let's just use a little bit of this. All right, not too much, not too much. And then I'm gonna actually blend this out using the first shade that we use just to soften that so we're actually going to go into the smaller palette and take like this nudish brown shade right here and we're just going to place this on the lid just a little bit of something something it's actually a really pretty nude white color yeah i like this because a lot of them typically are like super white i'm like mm. this one's like a nice nude white like an off-white super cute oh my gosh it's so cute now you guys already know we're gonna go back into the fluffy brush and just blend that in i love how this looks it's so cute I'm gonna blend that in wow oh i love a soft eye and it's february you guys so even better i didn't realize like I'm wearing pink, it's giving pink vibes. I did not plan this, y'all. Like, literally, I was like, I'm just see where this goes. But it's kind of cute because I'm wearing pink and it's February 1st. So, anyways, let me focus, y'all. So, we're gonna go back into like that nudish white shade and just put this all over the eye. 
so for the eyeshadow i think i'm gonna stop here because i just love how girly it looks so what i want to do is go into some georgia armani products y'all can see my messy desk um they sent me a bunch of products and i want to use their what is it called w66 um liquid eyeshadow this is super black and i've been loving using black as just like a mini like mini wing we may even do like the inner corner just real cute nothing too much okay so what i'm gonna do is actually take this product and put it on the back of my hand you kind of have to work fast okay because i don't want it to dry down and i'm just gonna take this and just do a cute little wing and I'm using the Anastasia brush just because there's nothing on it. It's dried out, but this will help it like be perfect. Yeah, just a little wing, nothing too crazy. And we're gonna take this and actually put it right here just to like add a little bit of something. And I think y'all can see the difference. Just a little bit in the inner corner and then some in the outer corner. So this is what the eyes look like, you guys. It is very simple, but you know what I'm saying? It's still a little something. It's a little pink in the eye, all right? Um, so we're gonna actually dive into the Florises Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. And this is a silky soft setting powder that blurs and blends effortlessly all day oil control so this is what the packaging looks like and i'm so excited to use it you guys i have not dived into this at all like i've been waiting so this is the packaging it is just so like i can't like i love them i love them so much so when you open this up it has a very beautiful blue puff and it's so nice y'all like this is a good a good puff but i don't usually use like puffs for my face but we're still gonna keep this because it's super cute all right so when you open this up this is what the shade looks like in here and i will say i'm very impressed because i didn't know if they had like shades i went like you know dark enough but this is really good so what i'm gonna do is first take the powder that's like sitting right here let's just try a little bit because i don't know what to expect okay so this is super i won't say super dark it's a little bit more red but I can work with this. Let's just work with it because I want to see the blurring effect. I can kind of see that already on the skin. It is really pretty. Okay. So I'm just taking my brush and just going in here. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to dab the other side. Oh, wow. This is really pretty, you guys. And I'm very picky about pressed powders. Y'all know. I only use my Makeup Forever powder, but this one is very nice. And at first, like, yes, it is a little bit red for my skin tone, but they have so many shades. But for them, like, they got it pretty close. They didn't even ask me what shades I wanted. They just knew. I said, okay, big per. So I'm just taking this all around my face, just setting it really really nice and it does have like that blur feature they were talking about like it looks really blurred wow this here is a yes from me this is really pretty i don't know if they have like yellow powder version of this but they definitely need that because this is really really good okay love this so for bronzer i'm actually going to use a bronzer that i don't typically use on camera this is the morphe glamour bronze phenom bronzer and i actually really have been like liking this lately just because it has a little bit of red in it and i just love how it looks on the skin so we're gonna take this and just add a little bit on the perimeter of my face so of course i'm gonna set my face with the shard tilbury airbrush setting spray i'm gonna do this So now for blush, I'm actually gonna use two blushes. I'm gonna use the Armani Beauty Powder Blush. I haven't used this yet. This is actually their Glow Blush in the shade 61. And then also I haven't tried the Florises Peony Dream Cream Blush. Um, so these two, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna use this on the face. So start with the Armani Beauty one. I'm gonna take this 
and we're actually going to place it towards the back area of my cheeks so we're going to take this right here and just dab it slowly into the face and it's super pretty you guys like look at that yeah same for the other side i haven't used like a powder br um, blush in a long time like it's been a minute okay i don't know i love cream blushes but this one is really pretty you guys it's like a very deep pinky color i really like that and then going into the peony cream blush we're gonna take this one with my sponge but i first want to show you guys the packaging i mean look at how stunning this is and then when you open this one up it's like a very beautiful just pinky cute shade i love it so we're gonna take this with my sponge and it's pigmented y'all all right let me just dab some of this off just a little bit i'm gonna start off with that and just bring it more on the cheek area like so yeah this is pigmented you guys wow and it doesn't look like a cream blush but it's definitely a cream blush so i'm gonna take this on the cheeks as well so for highlighter you guys know i typically use a refi highlighter but we're not going to use that today because we want to try some new products so i actually have the georgia armani fluid sheer the one that i used in the beginning and i also have their powder highlighter which i'm going to use on top so we're going to take this again and see what it looks like on top of the foundation i hope it doesn't mess it up we're going to take this right here and ooh, i used too much oh my gosh okay Let's just blend. Let's just blend. Okay, so I'm gonna use this on top, and it kind of dries down into like a kind of looks like a powder um, highlighter on the face. It's not as wet as my Refi one, but it's still very much pretty. That's what it looks like. It's very natural. I'm not like in love with it, but I don't hate it too. If you love like a natural glow. Um, glowy highlighter this one is for you i want to be wet shiny like i need a beaming this one's like she cute she cute all right same thing for the other side let's be a little bit more careful i'm just gonna dab this okay i feel like this side is hitting the way wait 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 wait, 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 wait. this side is hitting hold on what do i do with the other side i think the other side i messed up like y'all see that this is what i like this okay so let me do what i just did to the other side all i did was before i applied on the face i kind of blended it more into my hand remember the other one it just kind of like put like a wet spot in one side so let's just yeah y'all see that okay we back in action yeah this is what i'm looking for right here yeah right here Okay, we back. I'm just being a little dramatic. Okay, I just messed up the first time. That's why it's so good to be patient. Yeah, that looks really, really good. So I also do have the Armani Beauty um, Luminous Silk Powder. I don't know what shade this one is. Mm, yeah, I don't know the shade of this one. But do I even have a brush I can use it with? It's been a minute. Okay, let me just use this one right here. So we're just gonna take this, dab a little bit off and just hit the high points yeah if you mix the liquid with the powder it is fire and typically a lot of like powder highlighters the reason why i stopped using them is because they look like powder on the skin these two look wet do y'all see that okay this is given put some on the nose a little bit on the forehead this is stunning so last but not least is the lips i already went ahead and lined my lips with my beauty by chi chi allure lip liner all over so for the lips we're actually going to use um what is this called the ysl rouge candy glaze showcasing nude um shade on the lips this is so stunning you guys like i used to see people use it all the time and i finally went ahead and got it and this is what the packaging looks like okay let's go ahead and put it on the lips because this is really really stunning all 
all right so that is the entire look you guys what do y'all think let me know your thoughts down below but i tried so many new products today and i will say i just love how everything turned out it is just so pretty and perfect for you know february um so yeah let me know your thoughts down below what products did you like um i feel like i loved everything i didn't have an issue with any item i don't think um so yeah with that being said let me know your thoughts down below but before you do leave make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video